Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about the single phase AC circuits. In single phase AC circuits, today's topic is average and RMS value of full wave rectifier. In the previous class, we have discussed about the half wave rectifier. Today's topic is full wave rectifier. Okay, so this is the full wave rectifier output waveform. It is conducting from 0 to pi and pi to 2 pi and continuously the waveform is going on here. So if you see the time period, the time period of the above waveform is pi. For every pi degree, the cycle is repeating. That's why the time period is pi here. Out of pi, total 0 to pi is conducting. That's why area of conduction is 0 to pi. If you see the average value formula, area of conduction by time period. Area of conduction we will find out by using the integration and time period we have pi. Now let's see how we will calculate the V average value. So here V average of the voltage waveform is equal to the area of conduction is 0 to pi. We are finding the average value of the voltage waveform. That's why V d omega t divided by time period is pi. Here, instantaneous value of the voltage is V is equal to Vm sin omega t d omega t by pi. If you separate Vm by pi, we will get 0 to pi Vm by pi into integration 0 to pi sin omega t d omega t. Integration of sin omega t is cos omega minus cos omega t Vm by pi into minus cos omega t 0 to pi. If we apply the limits, we will we will get Vm by pi into minus of cos upper limit cos pi minus lower limit is cos 0. Okay, cos pi value is minus 1 and cos 0, cos 0 is equal to 1. So minus 1, minus 1, that is minus 2, minus 2 into minus, that is plus 2. Here, V average value of the full wave rectifier, we will get 2 Vm by pi. Now, let's see the RMS value of the full wave rectifier. So we know the average value of the full wave rectifier is 0 to V average is equal to 0 to pi Vm sin omega t d omega t by pi. For this average value, we have to apply square as well as the root. That will become a root mean square value. Okay, this average value is nothing but mean value. That's why for this average value, we are applying root and square. So we will get the equation like this. Vrms is equal to under root of, we are, I am taking Vm square divided by pi integration 0 to pi sin square omega t d omega t. For this sign, I am taking the square. Now, sin square omega t formula is 1 minus cos 2 omega t by 2. Okay, that's why Vrms is equal to under root of Vm square by pi 0 to pi 1 minus cos 2 omega t by 2 into d omega t. Okay, now I am separating these two terms 1 by 2 and cos 2 omega t. Now we will get Vm square by pi integration 0 to pi 1 by 2 d omega t minus integration 0 to pi 1 by 2 into cos 2 omega t d omega t. Now I am taking 1 by 2 is common. We will get Vm square by 2 pi into 0 to pi d omega t minus 0 to pi cos 2 omega t into d omega t. As I am taking that 1 by 2 is common, that's why we are getting Vm square by 2 pi here. Now, if we do apply the integration, we will get Vm square by 2 pi into integration of constant we got omega t. So, 0 to pi are the limits minus integration of sin 2 omega t, uh, integration of cos 2 omega t is sin 2 omega t by 2, limits are 0 to pi. If we apply the limits, we will get Vm square by 2 pi into upper limit minus lower limit, pi minus 0, minus of sin 2 pi minus sin 0, upper limit is pi and lower limit is 0. That's why sin 2 pi minus sin 0 divided by 2. Here Vm square by 2 pi, pi minus 0 minus sin 2 pi value is 0 and sin 0 value is 0. So 0 minus 0 by 2. This total term will become 0. Now Vm square by 2 pi and pi minus 0. And here pi, pi and get cancelled. And here Vm square, square root cancel. Here we will get Vm and there is a root 2 here. So Vm by root 2 we will get. VRMS value of full wave rectifier is equal to Vm by root 2. Okay, next. Form factor 
formula is VRM is by V average value. VRM is value we got Vm by rho 2. V average value we got 2 Vm by pi. Okay, if we calculate this, we will get 1.11. Okay, Vm, Vm get cancelled, we will get pi by 2 root 2, that is equal to 1.11. Now, form factor value is 1.11. Let's see the peak factor value. Peak factor formula is peak value by RMS value. Peak value is indicated by Vm and VRMS value we got Vm by root 2. Here, Vm, Vm get cancelled. Finally, we will get root 2. Okay, so your peak factor is equal to root 2. So, this form factor in peak factor will give the information about. So, what is the form factor we got? Form factor is equal to we got 1.11. So, substitute here 1.11. We will get VRMS value is equal to 1.11 times of V average value. RMS value is 1.11 times of V average value. Here also same. Peak factor is equal to how many times of VRMS value? Root 2 times. So, this information, the form factor and peak factor will give. Now, if you summarize this, so V average we got 2 Vm by pi for the full wave rectifier. And the v, v, RMS value we got Vm by root 2. And the form factor we got 1.11. And the peak factor we got root 2. So this is about the full wave rectifier, all the parameters. Like this, we will find the average value, RMS value, form factor, and peak factor. In the next class, we will discuss about the remaining topics in the single phase AC circuits.